we have a microclimate right here on Prince Edward Island that uh, it allows us to be part of the uh, winemaking culture. And um, uh, yeah, we're, we're just lucky right here, it's just perfect. Well, not only uh, do we make wine from grapes in the traditional fashion, we uh, work with farmers doing alternative uh, winemaking from their crops, such as uh, our latest one is the Wild Rose Liqueur. And uh, that liqueur was made uh, strictly as an experiment uh, with wild roses grown right here on PEI. And it's, uh, it's a great after dinner drink. It took three years to uh, produce it, aging in oak barrels and finishing it off with a uh, Nice, uh, oh, nice flavors of uh, caramelized orange and apricot. We came from Holland in '85, 1985, and uh, we farmers. And we bought a farm in Prince Edward Island. When we came here, we had a better breakfast, and we had some tourist staying with us, and they had to sample our cheeses. <laughs> so it was kind of my test. Test period. <laughs> we have the plain and we have herb and garlic, onion red pepper, peppercorn, uh, red chili pepper, garlic, pepper and mustard, cumin. When you have 10 months old cheese, it's called an old. But if you don't cut in it for say four or five years, cheese is still good except it tastes totally different from when it was a mild. It gets crumbly, uh, you can grate it like parmesan. A lot of people come back again to get some more cheese when they come uh, to eat while they're here and then they pick some up, more up when they go home again. So we have a lot of repeat customers, so that means something, I guess. <laughs> If you want to taste the real warmth of PEI, you got to come to Fall Flavors to taste the delicious food and to experience the big spirit of Islanders, definitely. <laughs>